a co-op who's on minimum wage and is having to pay his taxes to feed your kids. Free school meals are actually a 15 quid voucher from any supermarket. Now, if you have a mobile phone or fax or... I covered this not that long ago, but I'll do it again because we're going to get a lot more of this kind of rhetoric coming up as we approach the next general election. And I want to scotch it. Firstly, let's start here. Now I'm going to do lots of clever effects, so I hope they work. Let's try this. Now you can pause and read that. That's universal. The benefits that you are expected to get from universal school meals. And that's the benefit you'll get just from doing them on universal credit. Now, believe it or not, the thing that um, they're all right... We live in a society. Now, I'm sure Ms Hopkins and all of her ilk would agree that investment is a good thing because they're always going on about it. Let's give tax breaks to businessmen and rich people so that we can invest in their business. Well, free school meals is also an investment. It's an investment in young people. I've just shown you the proposed benefits financially to everybody. We know nothing's free. We're not stupid, right? We also know, we should know, that it is not the fault of eight-year-old Billy that his parents are feckless and useless. Yes, it might be your responsibility to feed your children, some parents are shit and it's not always poor parents either which is a fed one in fact generally speaking parents on low incomes damn near kill themselves trying to provide for their children it's parents slightly up the pecking order that are actually slightly neglectful generally not deliberately often just thoughtless however that's an investment now investment in social programs yes it costs money yes we pay for it out of our taxes um and we all reap the benefits. We reap the benefits going forward in a society that, well, I mean, you only have to look at, this is the other lie that we're going to hear about how much Labour will cost. Look at the state of everything when the last Labour government went out. Yes, they were neoliberals. No, I don't agree with that. But they backed it up with a massive programme of social investment. And that programme of social investment reaped absolute benefits. Now, with 13 years of the Tories in charge, busy saying, let's give money to our friends, like Ms Moan, whose husband is being sued in God knows where for massive fraud. We're not going to get that money back. That money's just gone down a dark hole. It buggers off to the Cayman Islands or wherever. Social programmes are investment back into communities and we reap the benefits. You and I, very quickly, every day. But we're going to hear a lot of that rhetoric. And I want to scotch it now so that whenever you see it, oh, well, we're going to have to pay. If you've got a mobile phone... You have to have a mobile phone today. I'm sorry, it's 2024, not 1995. But when you hear that rhetoric about it's my responsibility, can I please suggest you stop, you look at it, you recognise it for what it is, and you go and look at the actual figures that will prove or disprove it. Don't fall for it. It's designed to play on your emotions and it's exactly what will win the Tories the next election.